Hey, I'm out at Spices at Grandchester, just such a beautiful spot for a wedding. Thought I'd do a quick video about wedding music, particularly pre-recorded playlists. Um, people ask all the time about how to do that and how to put that together. So here's just a few thoughts from me. Uh, none of what I say is absolutely perfect for everybody, but it's the way that I recommend as a general rule to do it. Uh, every wedding's unique and it can change, but as a general rule, it's good to separate it into several playlists. Uh, to have one that's called background music. It's really nice before the ceremony begins for some music to be playing. It saves people walking into awkward silence when they arrive. There's some kind of atmosphere that's set by the music so that as your guests arrive, they're coming into something rather than trying to create something when they get there. It's really, really powerful. Think of the kind of songs that you think create a nice atmosphere, but it's not critical to you that they be played. Uh, certainly not while you're around. Just creating nice atmosphere for your guests. The next one, a separate playlist would be the processional or the bride's arrival, and that is if you're doing something traditional where the bride comes in and is given away, uh, usually a song is chosen. Processional is the official term for that. Um, a lot of thought goes into that song. It's a very, very powerful song. Some people have two songs for that. They want one for the bridesmaids and then another one for the bride. Um, often that doesn't work out that well because you only need a minute of each song and it ends up taking away from each song to do that. Sometimes you can make it work and if you're passionate about it, by all means, but often you don't get the desired effect because you're just playing two one minute versions of the song and it just doesn't sort of work. So, processional. Totally separate playlist so that whoever's playing your music is not confused by when to play what. Then uh, some music for the signing, so you call that playlist signing. I recommend three or four songs, again, not ones that are critical to be played, but ones that will be being played whilst you're over signing your documents and your celebrants guiding you through all that, witnesses are signing. So that's a really nice one. And then the recessional, that's the song that you walk out to. To me, that's a really undervalued song. Uh, it, it's a transition between like the sentimentality of a ceremony and moving into celebrating the fact that you're married. So I feel like that usually works best if it's a very upbeat song. Try to kick the volume a little bit for that as well. Call that recessional or bride and groom leaving. Um, and it's really nice if that's something a bit more upbeat. Sometimes people choose contemporary music. It doesn't have to be, but usually you can have a bit of fun with that one. And it helps everyone transition through to really celebrating the fact that you are married. Look, I really hope that's helpful in some way. Thanks very much. God bless.